So, um, so today is Wednesday, November 13th, it's about November 2 p.m. 13th. It's cold. See, Joe bought back the sweats. FM oh, all oh, right. Yeah, that was the, they got these for the pay per view. I hope they you got more than they that. They had a pay per view called War Streets. Uh huh. Now we're talking about Joe Applebomber. Joe Applebomber. Pogo, Pogo the Clown. Pogo, yeah. He just got back from Japan. So for the pay per view, he was given a very nice jacket. Yeah. Any cash at all? Or? Yeah, he got. they paid him well. Oh, good. They paid him well. Good. good. Pretty darn good. Yeah, that sounds good. He's just returning from Japan, FMW, Pogo yeah. the Clown. But Gigolo Steve Rosano, we're live here at Gigolo's uh, Palatial Estate. In the Burlingame Hills, boring. south of San Francisco. South Florida, yeah. And Steve, what is happening with XPW at this moment? Well, they just canceled the show on uh, the 3rd, December 3rd. They were supposed to do a show. And uh, it got canceled due to, uh, I guess, uh, Onita's guys. He has pyro pyrotechnic guys and stuff like that. Well, they wanted visas. Right, they gotta get yeah. visas to come to this country. Right. Well, they yeah. wanted the XPW office to pay for it. Okay. That was one thing. Another issue was because they didn't bring that fact up until a week before the for the event yeah, okay. for the TV taping. Sure. Okay. So they're like, you know, if you, what are you talking about? You know, you have a you're telling us a week in advance. Then the city council came down on them, changed their mind about a couple of rules and. The building wasn't ready for code that we were going to use, okay. so okay. then they had one week to find a place outside to do it, so they just canceled the whole show. That so that, that means perhaps early next year? Uh, no, yeah, uh, January 12th, or January 13th. Okay. There's a show. Um, I talked to them yesterday, and they're changing. Looks like they're going to give me a little more, more of a push. The contenders for the belt will be me, Tool. Uh, you saw him, the guy no. with, the, with the yeah. You had to have seen him, the guy with the uh, leather and the sword and all that. No, comes I haven't out seen with the hood yet. on. I haven't seen him yet. No. You didn't see all those Not, two tapes? No. Tool. Okay. Yeah. It'll be me, him, and uh, Messiah and Sabu. Uh, uh, try to feuding for the belt. Sabu's okay. got the belt right now. Okay. So I'm thinking that it's going to drop to Tool, and then Troll's going to drop to Messiah, and then Messiah's going to drop to me, or then it's going to go back and forth between the four yeah. of us. All right. I'm hoping, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I, I, I would love to work with Sabu. I was oh going to ask you, you've never, you've never wrestled Sabu? No, no. I've just hung out with him a few times. Right. Just in the back. And yeah. BS asked about this and that and the other thing. And, and <clears throat> that would be, that would be in, 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 my, in my Mark's point of view, It'd be a kind of a little dream come true. Absolutely. I've watched the guy since you know yeah. day one of Rollins. So right. Was, yeah. Uh, um, of course, you were, Jr. used to bring all those tapes in right. there and him that's and right. Al Snow and yeah. yeah and those guys and stuff like that. That would be amazing. So what's happening with uh, how's Rob Black doing right now? I don't know how Rob's doing, but he's are doing good. I mean, they got money. They're just having problems with city councils and stuff. They bought a brand new building. They're releasing it, and so Rob said, "F you, I'm buying it." Okay. So he bought a building. It's an old movie theater. They're gutting it all out, and putting in a full bar, on a liquor license, and uh, so that's going to be running during the shows. And then when mm -hmm. TV tapings are going to run every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So while we're doing TV tapings, we're going to be doing house shows in between. So hopefully the whole schedule will pick up. Yeah. yeah. And uh, during the two weeks that the, sh the building is not being used, he's going to rent it out to to ravers and conventions and people mm -hmm. who want to sell tapes and yeah. dolls and gimmicks and Pokemon right. trading cards and whatnot have you. Okay. He'll lease to them and make money off of that. So, okay, you know. and this is in the, in the Los Angeles area? Yeah. Uh -huh. Specifically? Right, uh, near the Reseda area, between Hollywood and Reseda area. Okay. You know. okay. So. Well, let's go back to uh, last summer, summer of 1999, you and King Chaos feuding. How did that feud begin? Actually, no, no. It started this year. It was 2000. Oh, I'm sorry. Summer I'm sorry. of this year. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that began, uh, 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 that began, uh, it was part of a build-up. I came in as Babyface, and he was doing an interview, as you saw on the tape, and he got jumped by the West Siders with the tag team heels. And uh, so I jump out of the crowd, hop the gate, come flying in there, and, you know, start raising hell, turns into a big schmoz, and that builds up a tag team tournament for the next night which the next night was on tape would be the next week because mm -hmm. each mm -hmm. night we do is one a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, so the second week, the second night, 
we feuded against the West Siders and uh, went all over the place in Ventura, California, and then we and we worked them again. I think in uh, Bakersfield. Uh, who did we work? No, it was Bakersfield. No, it was Ventura, and then Bakersfield. It was uh, it was three way dance between me, Public Enemy, uh, us, Public Enemy, and the West Siders, mm -hmm. and that was just chaotic. That was everywhere. That was how I got the gaff in the forehead here against Public Enemy. And how'd that happen? Oh, he, we called a spot. He says, he says Johnny Dude, Grunge. Johnny Grunge, Johnny Grunge called a spot. He goes, hey, kid, you little juice? He's from Georgia. He's got that accent. <laughs> and he says, sure, you know. He says, can you make me a gaff? He made me a nice gaff because I never made it up. I was honest. I said, oh, okay. Juiced me four times in my life. Mm -hmm. He makes me gaff and talk. And he goes, I'm going to hit you with that barbed wire chair. And you go, you go, hit me with that barbed wire chair. Put your arms up like this. Put your arms up. I'm like shit. So we go out there, bam, 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 he grabs my hair, he goes, let's do the spot. Go in there, he throws me in the ropes, put up the hand, bam, he just bashes me. Brings this scar right here. Okay. Right here and here. I go up like this, not thinking, Bob Wire hits here, hits me in the head. I go down, I'm, I'm juicing, got the guy out of the blade and doing my thing. He jumps over me, lands right by my feet. The whole ring goes, pop, boom, and the blade goes, zip, like that, right? I'm thinking, ah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, man, I'm fucked up good color. <laughs> I'm rolling over at this point. I'm thinking of Vic Grimes. Well, looks good on tape. Because <laughs> yeah, right. Vic uh, always said that. Yeah. I got Vic on Saturday, by the way. Oh, you do? Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, I won't be there. You won't be there. I, won't I was going to get you in for free. I'm doing I a couple video up. things in the city Saturday night. So yeah, it's your, your music stuff? I'm doing a, going to a club, a couple of clubs, and doing some video. So... You ever heard of a band called uh, uh, um, Simon Stinger? No. Um, no. Uh, okay. This guy I know. Him. Okay. So anyway, you're working with Vic Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Jumping back to. Uh, he's bringing in Hooven to Guerrero too. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> what about your brother? Oh, he's gonna be with you. Yeah, he's with me. Oh well. Oh well. Hooven too. He's gonna work with uh, either Styles or Diablo. Oh, that's too bad. I'd love to see you and Vic together and Hooven too. Yeah. Style. Kirk's funny. He goes, he goes. Yeah, it'll be you and Vic. You know, blah blah blah. He's, but you don't have to kill yourself, okay? <laughs> I go, uh, you know, just a couple things. He goes, yeah, you can go to the outside, but you know, don't, don't, don't kill yourself now. Don't, you know, it's, it's just, I don't want to go outside a lot. There's people out there, and you can't do that. And he's, God, you guys, so worried about being sued, man. So worried about being sued. Like, well, since we're talking about Vic, we can uh, refer to the last matchup, uh, August 12. Oh, it was great. I gave him Logan a lot. at Logan High School in Union City. Yeah. Vic Grimes, Steve Rosano. And uh, pretty brutal match. Very brutal. Really brutal. I gave him a lot. Uh, uh, I probably gave him too much, but that's because I'm just such a bumping mark. I love to bump. You know, that's my problem. Just like what Matt and Spike were saying on the Beyond the Mat. He says, I love to bump. So I think I gave him a little bit too much, but, you know, Vic's, he's had a hard time. I think with the WWF thing, I think he feels bad about that and the New Jack incident. And, you know, I'm sure he's feeling, you know, I I really just, I really wanted to put him over. The guy yeah. deserved to get to go where he's going, and I just really wanted to put him over strong, yeah. you know. So. For those people who don't know what happened with Vic Grimes and New Jack, would you just explain briefly? I don't know the whole story. He, he I saw that tape he gave me, he talked about it. And this was a pay per view in 1999. I guess they had, yeah, Back they had called Philadelphia. a spot. Yeah. They were going to climb. Oh, God, like 20 50 foot, feet or whatever on these steel 20, scaffolds. 20 foot high scaffold or so. And I guess they wanted to do a vertical suplex off the scaffold yeah. through the tables. Right. One of the two had canceled it. I think it was New Jack said he didn't want to do it. I don't know the whole story, like I said. Yeah. I don't, you know, I had this whole business is about rumors, <laughs> gossip, and yeah. fucking he said this and that, yeah. and he fucking said that. But, ah. Uh, so. That one of them, I think it was New Jack. I'm a, I, I think I feel it was New Jack. Canceled it, and Vic, being the nut that he is, went ahead and did it anyways. With that, as kind of a shoot, I guess. <laughs> uh, and that pissed New Jack off because I guess he got hurt, and then Vic thought that he said it was okay. I guess changed his mind, so there was a misunderstanding there, and I guess there was a little tussle in the locker room, and Vic stood his ground apparently, and didn't take any guff. New Jack, which he shouldn't. I think he did a good job. I th politically, it might have hurt him because New Jack's top—he's he, box office and ECW. But you know, 
Vic, Vic, you know, you don't take any. I think Vic's got a good reputation for not taking any shit. And that's going to get him bookings as well because he did make a made big name for himself. I wish to God he had made it as that drug dealer again. I wanted to kilo. see how far that kilo, kilo, yeah. kilo. I wanted to see how far that would go. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's about it. Yeah. So we'll jump back to XPW. You and King Chaos teaming up, and then oh yeah, sorry. Teaming. We we okay. few uh, we we tagged for a while, and I don't know if it was part of the storyline or they just decided I'd make a better heel, which is more or less true. But I think. Uh, they just they changed it. So, what happened was it got down to a three-way dance between the Public Enemy and uh, the West Siders and, and me and Chaos. So now Rob Black comes out with his cane and Lizzie Borden and a couple other people and I think it was Tracy Smothers and, and, and uh, Chron or Chron Chronic Cronus. And uh, he says, "There's not going to be a three-way dance tonight. You're going to face each other, and if you don't." You're going back to APW, Jigolo, and you, Chaos, are going back to the boys and girls clubs, and blah, blah, blah. So, we had a great match, had a good match. I uh, missed one spot, missed that one spot where he fell on the chair. He was supposed to reverse me. Okay. And he falls down, I'm like, fuck. So I just picked up the chair and just went, BAM! <laughs> <laughs> kind of looked up and went, whew, covered that one. I think he's got a concussion, he's dying, but I, I covered it at least. Uh, so, yeah, I went into all that, and then the West Siders came in and jumped Chaos while I was down selling. As I got up, cleaned house, I cleaned house, I grabbed the chair, and just as I'm about to clear, I go to hit the West Siders, I go and I turn him, bam! I just fucking nail Chaos. He opened, it was a first blood match. Yeah. First blood match, anything goes. And uh, he juiced, got good color. We beat the shit out of him, and blah, blah, blah. The whole crowd just, they were hanging over the rail. There about four and a half thousand people. The sports arena in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was a good match, and that was the turn. Yeah. And from there, I went on and uh, tagged with Cronus the next night. And uh, he's an interesting character. <laughs> he wanted me to. He wanted me to do uh, the drive-by that him and Saturn used to do. And I, I said, I'm not a martial artist. I, you know, I'll try. He said, Yeah, well, you could fucking do it. You're fucking tall, man. You fucking parries like this. You could fucking do it. You know, he's wasted. <laughs> I go, I go, hey, I can go try it right now. So we walk out to the ring, and everyone's in the ring working out. Messiah and Sabu's out there, and Public Enemy and Candido's out there. and So everyone was in the ring, so it was too late to, to go over. I said, so I compromised. I said, well, listen, let's just do the chance to drive by and do the side slam, boom, boom. So that was our finish. We went, I, I threw Webb into the ropes, side slammed him, did a one and a half spin, and then he did a leg drop off the top rope. Oh, Looked okay. really nice. Yeah. But it never aired. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. It never aired. It's on a highlight tape, as okay. you saw. It's on the highlights in the beginning. Right. If you see it real quick, right. it's real quick. Yeah. He jumps off and the highlight tape. I don't know if you saw it yeah, or not. Not yet. Uh, and uh, that was in Ventura. So that's how that goes. It all leads up to your big breakup with, or, or your, your final matchup, uh, the pay-per-view, I guess, with Kid Chaos. Right. Yeah. Where you, yeah. Uh, so you juiced with the sword. Well, yeah. So I feuded with him. He got pissed. So then he challenged me again, and we fought. And just as he got over on me, he hits the blockbuster. Boom! The Saya comes running in, and I we screwed him over again. I went over with the rocker dropper right, that I did. Right. Right. And uh, so then this just keeps happening over and over and over again. I keep winning. I keep winning for the help from the Saya or help from Tracy Smothers or help from from Cronus. So now he challenges me to a to a to the to a, a submission match, which is psychology. You would say it's more his style because he is a good he's a good worker. He rushes spots. He's too in a much of a hurry. You know, on the on the one where we he forced him against uh, the one match where he we were supposed to face each other. You know, and I was like, oh come on, you can't do this. Uh, I wanted to go into chain wrestle. I told him headlock takedown. You know reverse it, head scissors, and boom, and he just rushed everything, and he has a habit of getting a headlock, and then getting up and looking at you, you know, it's like, it's like, kid, if you got the hold, why are you going to let go of it, you know, yeah. hold it, you know, and he has that rushed mentality still, he's still a little green there, um, he'll just get up in the middle of a spot and stand there and look at you, it's like, <laughs> what are you doing? But then they have, you know, like the camera clutch or something like that, and he just broke it real quick, and... 
Yeah, so that's, just, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Right, he has right. you in a hold and yeah. he'll just break it. It's like you're, you're just starting to try and get to the ropes and he just broke it. Yeah, he just yeah. broke it. Yeah. I'm like, sell it, sell it. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to talk at the same time because you got camera number two is over <laughs> yeah. here. Camera number one's up behind us, so I don't know what light is what, which, right. which, sure. which yeah. one's dark. Yeah. So I can't really talk. So I'm going to grab my dish. I'm like, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. <laughs> you know, it's hard to go out like, just sell it. Hey. You know. <laughs> He's like this, and he's up like this. And yeah. He's selling it. Yeah. Looks good, and then he just yeah. breaks the hold and stands yeah. there and goes, uh, "So it's like we got to lock up again." Yeah. <laughs> so that's frustrating, yeah. you know, working <laughs> with him in that aspect. Um, I, yeah, I felt that that match was better. It was the best of three, three or four matches we had. The sword match, I didn't get enough defense in, but at the same time, it made more sense because. In the beginning, I beat the shit out of him. You saw that with the oh. gates and the chair shot. Well, how about, how about the opening with the, with the elbow to the yeah, jaw? Yeah, yeah, I gave him a stiff elbow. Yeah. I did not mean to hit him that hard. <laughs> Ooh, God, I hit let's him take, hard. Let's take, let's take a look at that spot real quick right now. Okay, Steve, we just saw that spot where you just clocked him with that elbow. Brutal. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, you know, like I said, I, uh, you know, everyone's right here. There's, there's, there's you know, a thousand people around you. At the ring, every 18 inches. So, I, I knew I had a. I was gonna chop him, and I thought, no, ask him for it. And I told him, I said, I'm gonna lay it in there. Yeah. And the lady goes, Yeah, yeah, lay it in there, hit me. <laughs> but I, I knocked him off yeah. his ass, as you saw that. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't. I felt bad about that because it was cement. If it was yeah. a ring, I wouldn't give a shit. But right. it was it's solid cement outside. There's no yeah. mats. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was that was good. And then I threw him in the gate. If he does good, and then you took a great, uh, great bump. Uh, forward flip into the, uh, the guardrail. Yeah, forward flip into the yeah. Guardrail. Landed on my head. I got a concussion from that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, did you see the spot before that? Well, let's take a look at that uh, that concussion producing spot. Forward flip into the guardrail. Okay, we just saw that uh, spot where you got the concussion. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Well, the one before <laughs> that, is he 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 does a, a planche on me. He comes over the ropes on me. I'm a senton. I caught him. As I came back, he started to fall to the side, so I, I went like this, and as I grabbed him, I let him turn my head sideways, because that's, yeah. you know, you always turn your head sideways. Right, yeah. And my temple went right into the steel gate. Bam! Oh. Like that. So you see me laying there going, fuck. And then, for some idiotic reason, I get up and go, throw me into the gate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that spot. we got to check that one out right now. Okay. Uh, we, just, we just saw that, uh, the plancha spot. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it ends up with you uh, and Tracy Smothers and Rob Black, I guess, in the middle of the ring. Yeah. Screw job finish again. Screw job finish. They, they've all, they're all screw job finishes. Actually, there was one match in Bakersfield where he went over on me clean, which lazy and I asked that. He, and I'm, I looked at him, you know, and he was in the middle of back and forth, going back and forth to Sabu and running and taking care of all the... All the so he takes care of all the main event guys, Rob takes care of the whole thing, mm -hmm. and then Kevin takes care of every most of the boys in XPW mm -hmm. and, and, and the outsider guys, mm -hmm. like me and, and uh, Joe, and, uh, and the Westsiders, they're from Vegas. And uh, So he tells me, yeah, I want to... Uh, Josh Lazy is the former bass player from Danzig, mm -hmm. you know, oh, the sure. lead singer, looks mm -hmm. like Bret Hart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Uh, by the way, I cut five inches off my hair. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, you have. That's right. Yeah. So um, so he tells me, yeah, he has to go over, you know. I'm like, I'm looking at him, and I go, you know, yes, sir, whatever. And I walk back, and I'm looking at him, why the fuck is he going over when we're still feuding and stuff like that? It's supposed to be screwed up. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to have a... Because he should go over in the right. the last match, yeah. which he did. You know, the submission match doesn't make sense, psychology-wise. So he went over, and that's the match that didn't air. And then the other match with Cronus didn't didn't air either. Which, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, anyway, we'll jump into, jump ahead to the finish of your feud. Oh the yeah! Finish. Oh god, yeah! The finish is Rob hands me his cane. Well, f well, first of all, Messiah comes running in. And interferes, I suppose. Oh, right? that yeah. match! Oh, that, yeah. that's before. That's the other oh, match. Is, before. is that the other match? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, he's got me. He <clears throat> he's on me. He makes a big comeback. He hits the blockbuster like Bagwell does. Right. Yeah. But he does it much better. Yeah. This kid's an oh. athlete. God, he, he oh, shoots yeah. up 
and he gets out way and up over. There. Yeah, he goes. And it's like I almost have to start bumping to catch up with him. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I never know where he is, you know, yeah. because of my stupid bumps I've taken. My yeah. mobility of my neck is only to here, so I'm like, fuck, where is he? Where is he? And I just slightly feel this, and I just go, you yeah. know. Yeah. And thank God, it just the timing <laughs> was perfect on every one. It looked great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm out. I'm down. I'm easily for the count. Just as he's about to count, Smother, uh, Messiah hits the ring, and Big Jake. Just, you know, the whole ref distraction. Right, yeah. You know, he gets up to see what's wrong. He turns around. Messiah gives him the, uh, the God smack, which is equivalent to the diamond cutter. Right. And uh, he gets up. I hit him in the stomach, drop a leg, cross the back of his neck, rock or dropper or whatever, which I call the one night stand. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Everyone does a stunner. Everyone does yeah. a diamond cutter. Everyone does a rocket driver. It's just names different. Yeah. Different. Uh, so that ended that match, which finally led up to the submission match. You know, where so we went back and forth right. and a few rest holds. But he's such in a hurry to get every hold in and every spot. You know, so I jumped him at the beginning and the match and the whole thing and then the finish on the very last feud. Last match, four months of feuding with this guy. We, uh, that's one thing I like about the company. They actually take a 70s, 80s perspective in the feuds. The feuds last six, seven, eight, time. nine months. Yeah. It lasts a long yeah, time, that's good. which I like. Um, so finally, he gets me in submission. I'm just about to submit. And then I uh, take over. I, t I take over with something. I can't remember what it was. But, but, uh, he takes, he takes, uh, I nail him with something, and Rob throws, oh, I nail him with a suplex. Oh, it was, okay, I know what happened now. I had, uh, there was a kid underneath the ring with a microphone. Right. It's an I quick match, you're right. supposed to have a fucking microphone. We get out to the ring, I grab Patrick, or a Pee Wee, he's the kid from the ECW, I go, Sabu's friend. Yeah, I go, where's That's the buddy. fucking mic? No mic. He goes, yeah. he goes, hey, there's no mic. I go, well, fuck the fuck, how are we supposed to have a submission? I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> So now we go into the finish. I got him with a dragon sleeper. And the kid under the ring says, I quit, I quit. Whole crowd just jumped up. Oh, you fucker. They were just booing and booing and booing, man. It's a lot of heat. I think they were pissed off because it was such a bad finish more than, a, more than it was cheap heat, you know. I don't know. Either way, I got a ton of heat. So he gets out of the ring, finds the kid, knocks him out. Uh, uh, comes and attacks me. I take over on him. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, uh, put him up. Big suplex off the top rope. And uh, Rob hands me his cane. The cane comes apart. It's a sword about yeah long. So I go to tackle him with the sword, you know. And it's a big. He grabs my wrist, you know. It's like a big Captain Kirk standoff, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> we go into that, and then he hits me in the nuts. Gets the sword and he and, and jabs me in the head and, and those headshots aren't even coming near because Sabu, I, I said Sabu, we're gonna do the sword gimmick, you know, fucking how do I do it? And he showed us. It was funny because if you see on that tape, Sabu keeps reaching on his hand and taping his hand, taping his hand. He fucking split like a three-inch cut in his hand, showing okay. us how to okay. show us how to use the sword. Okay. So when you see his match, he's like fuck against Terry Funk. You see him go. Going like this, you know, it's because I'm a fucking sword. Okay. I felt uh, bad about that. Yeah. But it was kind of funny at the same time. Uh, so we go into the finish. <coughs> he gaffs me, selling the crowd. I'm fucking going for my gaff, and it fucking I take two pieces of tape on there. And, you know, <laughs> theory says when you're hot and you're sweating, your skin expands. Well, it expands so much it was like glue. I couldn't get the fucking gaff out. You know, I'm like digging and digging and digging. It looks bad on tape, dude. I'm bending over. Well, you're down there for like 30 I'm seconds. I'm down there for like, like yeah. it seemed like an hour. <laughs> and so finally, he digs the sword in. I said, I said, move. And I took the sword and I said, fucking just dig it in there. And I just gaffed the sword. Because what we had done is we had taken the sword was sharp. Yeah. And we had uh, stuck it in a locker room. We busted it off, okay. about this much of it, so it was flat. Right. But I still took the corner of it. Yeah. <laughs> got a little, ju little, you know. I, I'm not, a, I'm not a big juicer. You know, my habit is, is that when I do juice, I go like this to check it, <laughs> and I wipe the blood away like an idiot. <laughs> That's where I'm green. <laughs> Many areas, yeah. but. Um. So. Good that spot. ended that match, and Good then, uh, and then it went, and then uh, it ended there. Yeah. And then Tracy Smothers comes in, and everybody comes in. 
everyone's cleaning the house, and then and he makes a big comeback. And just as he's and just as he's about to go through the ropes, I grab Kayla. I say, "Give me the blockbuster. Go, let's 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 put you over." So I'm wandering. I turn around, and Tracy's standing right there. I go, "Tracy, move." He goes, "What?" I go, "Move!" <laughs> and just as he hits me, Tracy yeah. moves out of the way. See what I'm thinking? Yeah. He hits me with the blockbuster because it finally put him over. Yeah. It's finally he got yeah. even with this fucking guy. Right. Yeah. And uh, it was really good. Yeah. He was so thankful. He's like, thanks for giving me that block. Like, Thank yeah. you, man. Thank you. Let's take a look at that, uh, the ending to that match right now. There we go. <coughs> okay, Steve, we just saw the finish to that match. And, of course, the, 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 uh, the blade job with the uh, sword. The hard way. The hard way. Bruce Hart was there too. And he goes, he goes, uh, <laughs> he goes, uh, what do you say? Bruce goes, ah, your head there looks like you uh, got a little road rash from a bike accident or something. <laughs> I, was, I can't, <laughs> I was trying to fly. He's a funny character. But, uh, it did look bad because there was like chick chunks just taken out. You know, thank God I don't heal good and I don't yeah. scar a lot. So, okay. So I understand a pay per view is in the works with XPW. Yeah, uh, they're gonna. Rob's gonna do a pay per view sometime next year, 2001, and it was gonna be here, and now it's, it's just too hard. So I, apparently they're gonna do it on the East Coast. Oh really? And then it's thought to do a pay per view in Vegas. Which I think is impossible, but okay. you know, Rob, you know, money talks. So, yeah. uh, now what's his background, Rob Black? Rob is the owner of a company called Extreme Entertainment. It's a porn company, mm -hmm. Jasmine Sinclair, and mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and uh, oh, what's that girl's name? We just did a we just did a vignette with her. Me and Buddy Rose. Uh, uh, fuck, too many chair shots. I just heard her on Howard Stern this morning. Oh. Uh, uh, it'll come to me. Okay. But anyways, yeah, those girls, and then you know, uh, he he did work with Tracy Lords and mm -hmm. girls like that mm -hmm. and stuff, and uh, and of course uh, uh, Christine Mist and, and uh, what's her background? Jessica Darling. She's a porn, She's a porn, porn uh, girl. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. A, a porn actress. Okay. Speaking <laughs> of vignettes, that was very funny. The. Uh, your your your, uh, your promos on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, those are fun, man. And the uh, the promos were your totally uh, ad lib, no storyline, nothing. He yeah. just said, "Talk about this, go with it." And who's he? Want. Rob Black. Uh, the camera? Kevin Kleinrock. Okay, who was who's out there on the street with you? It was just a few. Uh, yeah, it was just a few. It was me, Joe. Joe was out there. Okay. Uh, uh, Jake Wallace was out there. We were all just hanging out. Yeah. Uh, Dynamite D, as you saw. Right. And. Uh, <laughs> The girl, uh, Amy, she's one of the directors. That, one of Rob's directors, the directs the okay. movies and stuff. Yeah, okay. One of his, one of his directors' girlfriends. Okay. And, uh, real okay. nice girl. Yeah. <coughs> really funny. Were you, uh, were you come in to uh, take over the directing for the porn shoot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay, we've just looked at the. Uh, the footage with Steve Rosano directing his his first porn video. That and house. That's an actual house where that was filmed. Mm -hmm. It's a basement, and that house is a giant, like Dracula layer castle. And if you look where we shot, if you're looking where we shot, I was sitting here facing them, and right around that corner is a little steel door. Mm -hmm. It's a little fucking bondage room. Mm -hmm. Like if you walk in, there's like chains on the walls mm -hmm. where you put your hands and stuff, and like a little altar. Mm -hmm. Or like candles. I mean, it's weird shit. There's some <laughs> weird shit I can't even talk about. But so you do a lot of porn videos there. I get, yeah, I, yeah, I do. And then upstairs, because we were in the basement. Mm -hmm. Upstairs, they were filming a gangbang with Christy oh. Mist. <laughs> right at that time. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> if you had super audio, super audio on your thing, you turn it up, you can hear this like, like, come on, bitch. Ah, 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 you know, fucking, <laughs> I'm just sitting there going, oh my god. I'm looking over at Joe. I'm like. What the fuck did we get our ourselves into, brother? He goes, I don't know, but we're going to hell. <laughs> then you got Joe That's digging up bodies and oh, those burying videos. children. Oh, the little hand sticking out from the, oh, from the yeah. ground. Oh, yeah. Goes, he goes, Stevie, we're going to hell. I go, I know. I know. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, the little hand sticking out, oh, of, the, uh, out, of, the, out of the dirt. And 
walking off with the little boy through the that park. That was a day that, that between the porn shoots and the chicks walking around naked and guys taking bath showers out of the bathroom, <laughs> out of the sink and stuff like that. Because the guy that was in that vignette with me, he's a porn star. Okay. With the company. And that's why he was wearing the monk's uniform. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And with the cross. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because he was one of the monks. It was called the monks, uh, <laughs> monks of... Maniac monks, uh, you know, can lick someone's ass. I don't know what it was about. Right. But she goes in hiding or something like that, yeah, and she gets yeah. raped by all these monks. Right. It's just she, demented shit, you know, <laughs> demented. And I, I'm not, I'm very uh, a much a believer in God and all that, so I was really against it being uh, that, having the cross on her chest, and I didn't like any of that at all. And, you know, the whole day, <laughs> you know, me and Joe sat in the hotel room that night going like this, going, um, okay, <laughs> yeah, um, well, you know, we were just like looking at each other, like, kind of like when, you know, remember when, when the 49ers played the Dolphins that year, about 10 years ago, or whatever it was, and they killed them, like 42 <laughs> to like 3, it's kind of like Dan Reeves sitting on the sidelines going, okay, what just happened here, I, I don't know, yeah, fuck, that's uh, shit. Quite a day. That was a big day. That was a weird day, you know. Yeah. Like I said, me and Joe were just looking at each other in the hotel room, kind of going, Do we really want to get into this business? <laughs> well, Joe. All night, Joe just got like smoking a fat one. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm smoking a big fat cigar, getting my cigar buzz, and then we're just going, we're going to hell. We're going to die. We're going to hell. We're going to hell. You know, he's burying children. Oh. I'm, I'm directing <laughs> porns. That's brutal. You know. That's brutal stuff. So, yeah. So, Gigolo, the end of a great year, 2000, you made some... 2001 is my year. 2001's coming up, you made some big strides yes. this year. Next year's going to be your best year ever. I think so. Any predictions? I, I think, like I said, I think that it's a 2001 is my my year. I think I'm going to get the strap, XPW title, That's, as they had talked to me about it yesterday. Uh, I think a lot of things are going to happen. I think I, I'm hoping something happens to WWF because they're coming here in January. Uh, you know, I, I, I'd want to stick with XPW and work there full time if they had a full time. Whoa, getting rained on. Uh, but you know, like I said, like I said, I think 2001 is my year. This is this this 2000 was my year to like make a slow comeback. <laughs> battle promoters, battle my demons, <laughs> battle fucking women, whatever, everything. <laughs> so, uh, well, what about Roland Alexander? How does he feel about beyond it? the fat? Extreme Jack in a Box. Uh, <laughs> How does Roland feel about your success? Probably not. Oh, too he good. hates it. <laughs> I think he's rolling over. I think he fucking because he knows he sits there on that little stupid computer going, eh, Jack in a Box, Jack in a Box, eh. <laughs> fucking stuff on his fat penguin mouth. And, um, oh, call him the penguin. We call him the penguin because he looks like a penguin yeah. when he walks. Remember oh, Danny yeah. DeVito and oh, Batman? Sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. Wah, wah. Looks like a penguin. <laughs> what? 12 sandwich a day eating Twinkie Jack in a Box. I don't know if you saw him on Evening Edition two weeks ago, but they're doing a story on yeah. backyard wrestling. They yeah. had a little clip of him critiquing the backyard yeah. wrestlers, but he was sitting there and they had a profile shot and he had like these open sores on the side of his face. <laughs> Can you comment on, on that? I, What's all that about? I have no idea. He just does not take care of himself. I know he takes weekly showers. <laughs> weekly, not daily. <laughs> two different things. Over here, over there, <laughs> weekly, daily. Get used to it. George Bush is our fucking president now. So, oh. uh, I don't know what's out yeah. that guy. I think he just, the oil from the food <laughs> just seeps into his skin like X Files, like the black <laughs> ooze, you know, that goes right into his face and just sits there and gurgles. Yeah. And it just seeps to like get out of his pores and just yeah. buries. Well, well, let's find out. Let's let's find out what food Roland is, is exactly eating. Let's go to that clip right now. Nacho Extreme. All right, Jigolo, we've seen Roland Alexander in action eating those nachos. Any final comments? Any final comments? Don't get into this business like Roland to, to get back at people and get revenge on him because you've had a miserable life. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, thank you, Steve Rosano. It's Wait, always if you a can, pleasure. lose if you must. But as Roland says, always eat. <laughs> <laughs>